Klaus is an animated film that debuted on Netflix in 2019 and has become an instant Christmas classic since then. The film was written and directed by Sergio Pablos and also was nominated for an Academy Award at the 2019 Oscars for Best Animated Film. And it's not really that hard to see exactly why the film has been getting as much praise as it's been getting since its release back in 2019. It was a creative but also beautifully animated film, but it was also the story and the good characters and the good writing that made this film the Christmas classic that it is considered today. Even with all the things that could have been possibly against the success of this film, it has now become a film that a lot of people do watch around the Christmas time alongside some of their other favorite Christmas films. And to me, that is really mind-blowing and it makes me incredibly happy. Today, as a holiday slash Christmas special, I'm gonna be talking about how Klaus is a Christmas masterpiece. The story is pretty simple. After proving himself to being the worst student at the Postman Academy, a postman of the name Jasper, played by Jason Schwartzman, is sent to a frozen town in the north where he discovers a rec- Exclusive toy maker named Klaus, played by J.K. Simmons. Both work together to bring happiness and joy to the children of the town, and as the film progresses, both our main characters become best friends, while also at the same time discovering and creating some of Christmas's and Santa Claus's biggest myths and legends. It sounds incredibly simple on paper, but believe me, the film is much more once you actually see it how it plays out. Even with such a simple story about the origin of Christmas and Santa Claus, it really finds the best way to tell the story in a way that doesn't feel phony or too childish. Basically what I'm saying is that the movie does not dumb itself down to appeal to only the lowest of lowest common denominators. The film is actually incredibly smart about storytelling and treats the audience like actual fucking smart people rather than baby feeding them everything. And don't get me wrong, the film is incredibly sweet and charming and cutesy, but the film also knows when to take itself seriously. The filmmakers really knew when to say, okay, we need to stop it with all the comedy, with all the cuteness, and we need to focus on the drama around the characters and the story. I just want to give them huge props for finding the perfect balance between the goofiness and the comedy and the cuteness and the more serious stuff. A lot of animated films have a huge issue on trying to find this balance and I feel like this film really found the perfect way to combine all of these things to feel natural and to me that is one of the most impressive things about this film. And the writing is just incredible from every aspect from the comedy, from the drama, it, it's just very impressive how much this film really focused on giving as much character to the background characters from our main characters and I just found that incredibly impressive. The comedy is really fast and it's quippy and it's also filled with a lot of slapstick. I mean this film has a lot of fucking shit in terms of its comedy and its jokes that just make me laugh out loud okay. Like shit is fucking goofy as shit and I love it. It's almost like I'm watching a Looney Tunes or Tom and Jerry cartoon sometimes with slapstick. Character interactions in the background were really interesting to watch and also the more comedic interactions were very fun and a lot of them got me to laugh incredibly hard but it's also the dramatic dialogue and the serious scenes and when you get to just sit down and listening to these characters talk it's incredible because it feels like you're listening to real people talk they really want you to take seriously what the characters are saying in that specific moment there's a scene where you get to learn more about the klaus character it's so dramatic and it's taken with such seriousness and at first it starts kind of sweet and then it just turns into this incredibly sad and depressing story this shit made me cry okay did this film make me cry not only once it made me cry three times that's how fucking emotionally invested I was in this film. If you watch it, you'll be just as emotionally invested in the characters and the story like I was. Shit, the characters in this film are so good that you even like the villains. Like, this film is really built in structure, almost like a classic animated Disney film. You know, when they actually care about giving you good villains instead of bullshit surprise villains out of nowhere. The villains are very cartoonish and their motivations are really flat and they're very just fucking whatever. But Man, 
they are so fucking fun to watch on screen. And the feud between these two different groups in this town is just fucking hilarious to watch and just to see how it plays on screen. It's just very fucking entertaining to watch. And the soundtrack and score are also incredible. The soundtrack was the one thing that was really worried me because when I watched the trailer, they play a pop song and I was like, oh, fuck, here we go again. You just sit there, be all magical and awesome. But yes, the movie does have pop songs, but they actually work for the film. They actually feel very well integrated into certain parts of the film. So they didn't bother me, and I actually ended up liking one of them in particular a lot. And I listen to it even when it's not fucking Christmas. The score is incredible. Again, it has this very cheerful, very holiday, Christmassy sound to it. But sometimes it also sounds like something out of a horror movie. Very dramatic, very eerie. And... I just fucking loved every single part of the score. And again, the soundtrack really surprised me of how much I end up liking it with the pop songs that they actually put in the film. And of course, the one thing that I know everybody is asking me about, the animation. Yes, the animation is absolutely fucking astronomically gorgeous. I remember the first time I watched this film, I was like, this is a really impressive looking 3D animated film. But then I discovered, actually, no, it's not a 3D animated film. It's actually a 2D animated film. Like the detail of the animation is so fucking astonishing that it actually makes the characters look they're almost 3D characters. I was just fucking mind blown when I discovered that. And once I saw the progress and how they did it, it's like, Jesus, man, the fucking hard work that went into this shit is just impressive. And I'm just like, God damn, that is just fucking beautiful. The initial sketches were very rough, as you can see here. But there was a cleanup stage in which artists refined the drawings with crisp, bold lines. Then they painted the characters with basic flat colors. Here, everything still looks very 2D but they will soon bring the characters to life with a very important addition usually reserved for 3D animation. Uh, I, I, I can't stop thinking about the look of the animation. And yes, they do kind of use some old 3D techniques for some things for like certain objects. They will use an actual 3D model just to make things easier on the animators. The film just looks so fucking good. You can't even tell what is actually 3D and what is not. And to me, that is fucking amazing. Everybody in the voice cast does an incredible job. They bring their goddamn heart and soul into this shit. Especially our two main characters, Jason Schwartzman as the main character, Jesper, and J.K. Simmons as Klaus. Probably not an axe murderer, though still is a possibility, but most likely, no. He's a good guy. You know... I remember the day I first had that very same smile on my face. What? But it wasn't going to be the two of us for long. Both have incredible chemistry, but as the film goes on, all these characters have great chemistry with all the other characters. And just in general, the interactions that both of these characters have with other characters amongst the film are just incredible. And again, the voice casting is impressive. Everybody brought their A-game into this shit. Alright, okay, let's make a deal. If I teach you something, will you get out of here? Please. Mm -hmm. This town was built on resentment and spite. And it'll stay that way as long as a crumb or an Ellingbow have something to say about it. There were some voice actors here that I didn't even know that they were actually in the film. Norm MacDonald voices one of the secondary characters in the film, and I never noticed it until I watched this behind the scenes on the voice cast. Does someone live there? Oh, well, sure. Yeah, you should definitely drop by. Nice fella. Loves visitors. Let me tell you, the ending of this film is Tear Jerker Festival. God motherfucking damn. It really tucks at your heartstrings real fucking hard, man. And it gets to your feels with ease. It's really somewhat of a bittersweet ending, but honestly, I kind of love it for that reason alone. If it made me ugly cry, I'm pretty sure it's at least going to make you tear up a little bit, man. This movie is just incredible. Like, I, I, oh, this entire video is just me saying how much this film is incredible and how much I love it. But honestly, can you blame me? The movie is literally a goddamn fucking masterpiece. There are a few nitpicks that I could talk about, but these nitpicks are so small and minute that they're fucking worthless. Like, why would I waste time talking about those 
my nude nitpicks where I could just fucking keep praising the shit out of this masterpiece Christmas classic. And it sounds like I'm really hyping this shit up, which honestly, I don't give a shit. If you have not watched the film, you should watch it right now. It's on Netflix. You have no goddamn excuse to not watch it. Everybody and their grandma has Netflix, so you have no fucking excuse to not at least have watched this once and please do it because if you don't you're missing out on a fucking incredible film and that ladies and gentlemen is exactly the reason why klaus is a christmas masterpiece thank you all so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video what do you think about klaus did you like it did you dislike it i really cannot fucking find a reason why would you dislike this film or do you just feel indifferent towards it leave it down in the comments let me know i really want to know what you guys think about the film and as always good day good night and stay safe and also merry christmas and happy holidays take care